in this video, we are going to recreate a shockwave effect from the trailer of the movie Morbius, which is this. Let me let me show you how this one. So for that purpose, as you can see that it's actually a shooter scene in the real model here and the real background uh, we have. So unfortunately, we don't have this shoot this kind of a shooting. So I did some homework before that, which is this. I already had a 3D model, a 3D rig model. So I just created a position of this model with the help of the controllers. These are the controllers. And uh, as you can see, I have given this position, something like that. And now uh, after that, I just, uh, I have just selected all the controllers and hide this. By this, we cannot see them in the renders, except model. So now we just need to take the render. And then we need to save this. So as you can see, we have the position of this moving neck. So let's create this in After Effects. So here I have, uh, I'm just going to import my footage, which is in this. Here, this is my short one. I'm going to take the new composition, which is named by character. Or maybe I'm going to get this size. Unfortunately, I forgot. It's perfect. Uh, and I will import my character here. And press S for the scaling and increase this uh, scaling size. And now it's time to bring my background. I have downloaded some images from Google, which is this image and this image, this image, but and I have selected this one. So I just need to import this image like this i'm gonna give this scaling approx uh, i guess 131 and here it is properly i have fit it now furthermore as you can see that we have moving object this this neck is also moving so hmm, i just need to set this position first of all i'm just going to take the one frame only one frame and i will go to the edit and split the layer why i did this because i'm just going to make it freeze frame till 10 frames and then it will start because it's a time to take some break and then it will start to move his neck so still i need to stretch the time of this layer as well suppose it's uh, three so it will take some times like this and the same thing i'm going to do this with the with this part it's split layer and free spray So now I have uh, done the work of my character. So this time is for the background. First of all, I need to take the background uh, into three layers because we have the three parts of the character layer. So we have, we should have three parts of my background layer. So we need to split this layer from here and from here and select all the background layers, go to the layer and make it pre-compose. I'm just gonna give the name of background. So if you double click on this layer, you will come inside the background layers. So 
I just need to apply effect here, which is effect blur and sharpen and Gaussian blur. So I need to blur the background because uh, this will create depth of field that will be the focus of my character. So I just need not too much. I'm going to take prox 13% uh, or maybe 15%. And as well, I'm going to go to the effect, the same layer, background layer, effect, color and sharpen, and then curve. So down your curve to create some darkness behind of it, like this. And the same thing I'm going to do with this, my character, same curve effect. Increase the value of color like this. I guess this is much better. So select curve, control C copy and go to the here, control V and same thing control V. By this you can find out these three layers will full of curve effect. It will give the brightness in it. So now this time is to import my shockwave layer. I'm not going to create shockwave because it will be another tutorial in my on my channel very soon. I'm going. I will teach you how to create this. So this time I am just going to import some shockwave layer, which is I have already the other shockwave pack. How you can find this back in the my coming video see this and we have so many shock wave layer packs so I just need to draw them. okay I'm gonna copy the path here and uh, maybe I will find out suppose uh, this one 48 or maybe 51 the both of it okay so number 48 uh, make it isolate and try to find out this. the same thing so we need to decrease the time duration of this shockwave layer because we have to set according to the time duration of my this character layer so go to the layer of shockwave right click on it time and time stretch just find out uh, only maybe six frames only six frames make it this so now i'm just uh, going to adjust this like this and go to the blend mode select add Add will help you to adjust with the background and you need to right click on the layer of shockwave go to effect stylize and glow and you have these thresholds increase the intensity sorry decrease the threshold increase the radius and increase the glow intensity as well this is beautiful so now the time for my second shockwave layer The same thing I'm going to do with this layer as well. Go to the time duration, time stretch, and only six frames. So the six frame, the same things, go to the plan mode, add, 
select this layer go to the effect select glow control c copy and come here control v paste it and just find out the scaling value is 191 so it's the same value is 191 Okay, so we have done this part. Now go to the background. We have this there. So I will apply here effect, distort, and find out turbulence displace. Okay, so apply the key on amount and the size here. Size will be 5. And the amount will be approximately 200%. Okay. Now both are both have to be oh, zero. I'm oh, sorry. Two. And from here, if I will come out. And so as you can see that my background was clear now after that it is about to be blur like like this as you can see it is properly clear but now you have seen this it's blurry Now it's clear proper, so I need to apply the same effect on this layer as well. Just, uh, distort turbulence displace. I need to apply the key on the both side. It has to be zero, and it has to be two, or maybe it has to be. Uh, five or maybe two hundred percent like this. Now you need to increase more four hundred. So as you can see, it is about to be more breakable. Now it's, it looks actually pretty much a nice neatness. So we have actually achieved our target actually. So, so the next thing is this, it's actually additional thing. So I'm just going to apply some, maybe some lighting effect or uh, so I need to take the background layer, which is approximately like black and uh, Maybe enter the knee to of my character, or maybe the shockwave layer as well. So I we'll just need to define like this. Press F for the feather and adjust it into the overlay, or maybe make it transparent somehow. Cut this here from this part. I don't want from here. Such a nice effect, actually. This one, <laughs> I love this. So uh, in the end, I just need to call my smoke. I have already downloaded from the YouTube. 
and this is more uh, have to be here and maybe on the downside upside as you can see this is smooth is working so just split the layer of smoke from this part because from this part my character or my shock wave layer will become so the smoke will come from this way as well uh, right click on it effect time and key light select the screen color picker or you can find out these things I guess 100 level is perfect so you just need to press S for the scaling or adjust it somewhere like this Control D for the duplicate and adjust it here like this as well just add the position only and then press the both layer select the both layer and bring it out behind the character so we can find uh, these beautiful effect in addition which uh, in addition just in addition i'll take an adjustment layer only adjustment adjustment layer and i will apply here lens flare effect go to the effect find out where is lens flare where is lens flare where is lens flare? lens flare is here actually so i just need to select 105 mm prime which is this one Okay, so brightness is about to be zero and the brightness is about to be increased. Okay, so this time I'm gonna control D for the last flare, both side and I'll just bring my lens far away from these both thing. So guys, now we have created this effect of shockwave layer. It was just related, related from the Morbius, but not exactly like the Morbius. But it will work like this. So I hope you guys like this tutorial, enjoy this tutorial, enjoy this video, and share this video with your friend and just learn and subscribe my channel, my production. Thank you so much.